So yeah, the other day we was outside talking and like I was like I was telling my I said, man, I always felt like Filthy had a, a good heart, like trying to put niggas on and like fuck with niggas and do shit. You go all the way back to talking um talking about putting Stevie on with the uh with the CDs and shit, right? And y'all build that. I don't part. feel like just putting on, just feel like just you feel me. Helping a nigga. I mean, well, not, help. even, not even just even helping, just giving a nigga some info on his ass and yeah. where to go get some CDs at. Like, come on, yeah. bro, like that shit. Little nigga small like, shit. That shit. ain't nothing you feel me to brag about, nothing like that. Just show you, you know, I'm just letting you know where we linked that. Like, yeah, no, no, I ain't saying nothing about that. I'm just saying as far as because niggas don't do it. Yeah. I'm trying to use you as a tool. You've been rapping for a long time, you've been doing this shit for a long time and surviving. I'm trying, a lot of motherfuckers look up to you. And a lot of motherfuckers, whether they admit it or not, niggas who think they saucy, niggas who think they in competition, they watch. Mm -hmm. It's only natural. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when I when I be saying that type of shit, it just be like to point it out, because you never gonna get all that on them other platforms. Mm -hmm. And I watch it all, bro. I watch I watch you on No Jumper. Adam 22 pretty good, but he don't know enough about filthy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, um, Dealing with different niggas in the game, like uh, like Joe Blow, mm -hmm. right? Like uh, how did y'all link? Like do live wire? I mean, well, Joe Blow live wire? No, Joe Blow is on the artist records. Oh, okay. Um, Jack, I met Blow through Jack. Fucking with Jack. Yeah, that was his artist. Yeah, and when you fuck with niggas, you just instantly get up with them and just like you know you like whether you do or you have might you. take a liking to certain ones. Certain I done ones. been around a lot of niggas with Jack. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. You know, you no, know, plus Bo's pushing the East, you get what I'm saying? So you, you gotta, you know. Yeah. So like, uh, niggas like Kurt Diggler, how y'all link? I met Kurt in Vegas. In Vegas? Yeah. And y'all just instantly started working and shit? Um, no. Uh, shit, I guess he heard of me, I heard of him. She we was just around, fucking around. She was just <coughs> linked up in Vegas and shit. Now, now let me ask you this, man, and this some real shit, this some real nigga shit. We dig real deep, right? Now, when you, there's certain shit about niggas that you don't know, like you start working with niggas, right? Yeah. Like, do that shit, do like, when this, when this shit come out about motherfuckers, do it like cut into you? Do you be like, let me be something? Because I've seen you, I've seen you uncomfortable on an interview. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? i seen you uncomfortable on an interview when they like asked about Kurt Diggler. Kurt supposed to come on the show and talk, right? So, like, when they actually like, well, this, uh, when Mac Blast came out mm -hmm. and niggas said something about Kurt telling, like, mm -hmm. and then you say, they asked you in the interview and you say, well, shit, I don't know. But if I do know, like, I felt you was player about all the situations, you know what I'm saying? But in a, in a regular nigga eye, everybody going to say what they going to say. They going to ask and niggas never know what to ask. You know what I'm saying? So in y'all relationship, it just dissolved, like, uh -huh. out of music or out of personal or what? Shit. I mean, the shit was being pushed around. And um, I guess I don't know if the shit died down or not, but um, I don't, I don't really know. I ain't know him then. Right. I don't even know if it's real or not. Like I ain't seen no paperwork myself. Right. So I don't know what it is. Right. You know so, but do you just automatically go into protect and survive field mode? Of course. Mode? Protect my brand. Of course. It ain't even worth because because we don't promote that. Right. You know, not to say if he did it or not, but I don't know until I know. You get what I'm saying? So I gotta. And I'm sure it will be the same way also. That's okay. how that's how niggas is, is bred out here. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. So like, what what like in between like just because it ain't we at East Oakland Legend right now, yeah. man. Right. So just to clarify for everybody, what was initially the problem between you and DB? Um, he was mad about Kurt fucking with me. That's where it all started. At. Right. Okay. Now I didn't heard the same thing. Right. So. He was mad about Kurt fucking with you. Yeah, and he did some little sneak dissing on the, uh, some mixtape he dropped. And I tried to hit the nigga up. You get what I'm saying? And then it was just hella shit going on. Um, then I jump on Twitter. And they like, man, we just heard the um, song with Raven on the radio. It took your verse off. And then at that time, that's what funny just the gay shit. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? But when I hit Raven, I'm like, what's up with it, my nigga? Like... He took me off the song. He's like, yeah, man, I'm in this contract with Kafani. You know, he, he didn't want you on the song. I'm like, that's crazy. I'm like, uh, shit, but still, though, you know, when you was fucked up and wasn't fucking with him, you reached out to me to get on the song. I feel like you could at least call me and told me. Yeah. I had to find on the internet. Right. So it was that. It was DV. It was Kafani. It was uh, Lav. It was Raven. It was 
mess all at once. And I, I remember you saying a lot of shit like, I ain't got no daddy, I do I do what I want to do. No diss to Raven Justice, and I know y'all cool with whatever yeah. probably right now, yeah. but I'm saying, like, I remember the whole thing. Like, yeah. I'm not just a nigga that don't pay attention, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But niggas don't never really know the truth. Like, yeah. everything you said right yeah. now, I thought to be the accurate shit, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But you mean, only, I'm going to keep it all the way. That's exactly what happened. Like, yeah. I, I tried to hit the nigga DB after I heard the diss, because, you know, dude had pointed it out. And then, um, nigga, Metro's off. Yeah, you feel me? <laughs> off. And I ain't gonna lie. And then when I got hit with the other shit, I'm like, man, fuck all these niggas. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? That's yeah. what I did. The little song. I was just catting off. Like Kurt wasn't supposed to even be on that song. Right. I was right. just doing the song to the neck. He just walked, walked in the studio. In. Like, I heard that. Yeah. you jump on here. Yeah. He mm. just jumped on. Like, I don't even know if he knew like what it was about first. Before, like my verses or something. I think he probably just heard the hook or something. Right. And he jumped on the shit. And then uh, you know it was even niggas in the video that felt like. They didn't know what the song was about because they had a relationship with the other nigga at the time. But they right. was just in the video. Right. Like, you knew what was going on. Right. 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 You know they ain't paying attention to the lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, See what the lyrics about. So, and then, you know, I was just, like I said, I was just fucking around. So they thought I couldn't rap. And they was like, oh, we're going to gas and we're going to murder and we're going to kill and this, this, and this. Yeah. And came back with all that weak ass shit. Like, yeah. keep it real. Only person I was really worried about was, man. I'm like, you know. Yeah. That nigga been doing it. He, he been he, doing it. He, he know he funny. Right. He has something to say. Right, right. And when I heard that weak ass shit, I was like, I got him. <laughs> yeah. I got him. Like, I got out of all other niggas, I wasn't worried about this. Yeah. Like, I know DB. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I've been around you. You've been in my hood. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I knew other niggas that knew you. And, you know what I'm saying? And Raven, you know, I, I think I was the first nigga to do a song on Raven mm. before I even fuck with Kafani. Mm. Before I even got got the deal. So let me mm -hmm. ask you this, because I I heard everything you said right that yeah. that just like you said it right, yeah. but the only difference is they was acting like Camiel was saying to take Dude, filthy off. I don't give a fuck if Camiel did. But have you ever heard that? No. Okay. They I I heard did somebody I, I, just said Camiel said. I mean, you know, they always yeah. gonna make it seem like it's somebody yeah. bigger. Right. Right. I'm telling you what Raven told. Me. Right. Right. He like man, I'm on here and he don't and he wants you off the song. Right. You know, I think he finally said that later on to clear himself. Yeah, you know what I'm saying if that's what he was trying to do, if if that's true or not. But I, but I'm just telling you what I was told the night that shot. I mean, they hit me up about this shit. Yeah, I hit him. Like, man, dude, once you off, man, got me in like three album contract. This is and this, and I'm like, oh, fuck it. Damn. Like, but damn, my nigga, I feel like you could have told me yourself. You told me, yeah, yeah. So, so um, when that when that whole shit was going on, and like. Did, and I don't know if I heard back in the day with Stalin, was it all because Lab D initially wanted to work with y'all, right? That was that that was the whole thing. I feel like, see, I'm going to keep it real. Like, the beef that nigga came, I came home to the beef. The beef was going on before I even got there. Okay. I was locked up. Okay. And what I heard was, you know, Lab wanted to do an album with Stalin. And I talked to Lab when I was in SAC. Okay. You know, then, because um, Juice knew Lab. So I'm like, bro, you know, um, he did an interview. He was like, man, the realest nigga they got is the Filthy Rich nigga. Right. But keep it real, it was an incident at Pinky's. And I don't even think he knew that was me. Right. You feel me then? Right. You get what I'm saying? Situation happened in the club. Like, I ain't gonna lie, that nigga was, that nigga was moving. That right. nigga had niggas with him, little niggas. He right. turned up. I mean, I ain't never took, you feel me? Yeah. I, don't, I don't know, you know, everything that go on in their neighborhood, but I'm saying that nigga was out there moving around. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, incident happened at Pinky's. You know what I'm saying? He did an interview. Mm -hmm. I don't even think he knew that was me. I don't, he, I don't think he knew me, but I hollered at him. I'm like, what's up? Like, my nigga got my name in your mouth. Like, I don't even know you. He's like, nah, bro. Like, you know, niggas come out here and y'all do what y'all do. Like, fuck with a nigga. Right. You get right. what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, I don't really know you right. at that time. And then he was like, um, well, you know, style and fuck with <coughs> this nigga. I'm like, bro, I don't really know. I'm I just know. came home. Yeah. Like, you feel me? Yeah. So he thinking, like, what well, one nigga do in the house, everybody do. Mm. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So he's right. like, I'm, I'm getting at everybody. Right. You get right, what I'm saying? And really, right. what it was about, Shady was fucking one of his bitches. And that's right. what it was. You right. feel me? What, what I heard. I, like I said, I came home to the shit. Right. So that's that was where I feel like it started at. Shady was fucking the bitches or something. They got into it, had some words about it, whatever. But how this shit kind of like came around, like, you know what I'm saying? It just be like, niggas, it's crazy. Niggas ain't, niggas get older. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of shit be that was like. 2007 when I came home. Yeah, that's a long fucking time ago, man. Oh, man. That's a long fucking time ago. 12. So in the, in this process, on the diss song, like, to me, if the shit could be over and done with, I mean, on your behalf, I know it is. Like, I know you don't care about what? this shit as far as, like, the uh, the old shit, the uh That's what we put to the side. 
Uh, That's what me and Lab put to the side. No, I'm talking about as far as like DB, how all this shit started, right? And then like you uh, fucking with Mozzie, like did, yeah. who reached out to who? I reached out to Mozzie. You reached out to Mozzie? Yeah. And then, I seen the, he had some um, music I think he did with DJ Fresh. Okay. And then I'm like, going crazy. And I think he did some with Blow. Yeah. And then when I first reached out, he was like, he wasn't ready. Like, I ain't ready for your big dog right now. I think he's trapping in the streets. Right. Whatever he's doing, right. feel me? Right. So we ended up double backing. And that shit, that shit, that shit gonna forever go down, you know, as history, man. That that shit was crazy. Like when everybody seen that, motherfuckers couldn't believe. First of all, uh, I don't know if you was past that because I hadn't heard you go over many other people beats around that time. But like that was just like some fluke shit or just hella fast. Or like, nah, see the song. I was rapping the song. Um, I actually did the song. My, that verse that's on the song was the original verse. Okay. If you listen to it, I'm just being honest. It, I was rapping like how Future was, just fucking around. Right, right. The song, I don't really remember how the flow was, but I was rapping however he was rapping on the thing. Yeah. And when I sent it to him, he sent it back. Mm -hmm. So I switched my shit on the nigga. He just went crazy on the motherfucker. I just switched my verse and dumped on it and sent it back to him. And, and from there, like, everybody know the story. Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all relationship, uh, you know what I'm saying? Mozzie. Uh, career propelling yeah. and all that shit like you know what I'm saying we know the details of that shit but like like is that filthy again like throwing a hand out like I fuck with everybody I mean when I fuck with you I fuck with you you right. know what I'm saying so I mean you know I might tell a nigga I do it like this push this you feel me that's just regular shit with me though right. you know, I don't like throw that nigga face take credit for it mm -hmm. but of course I, you know that's just me looking out for me yeah yeah, but like, if more more niggas need to learn how to be like that. That's what we talking about. I mean, shit, I, I, if I go through it and I see a nigga trying to go through it, I'm not gonna tell him how to do right, it. Right, I don't understand that either. Like, yeah, that's some whole shit. But niggas be on some whole shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and right. they do that. Do people feel you not approachable? Um, bitches. Look. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>